Welcome back to West Virginia Total Resource, where we take you all over the mountain state from the comfort of your couch. I'm Kristen. And I'm Hannah. Today we're exploring the historic and picturesque Harper's Ferry. Nestled where the Shenandoah and Potomac Rivers meet, Harper's Ferry is not just a postcard perfect town. It's a living piece of American history. This is arguably one of the most popular towns in the Eastern Panhandle, with historic Harper's Ferry attracting tourists and history lovers year round. Now let's delve deeper into what makes Harper's Ferry such a desirable location and a strong investment. From housing trends to local amenities, we've got the inside scoop. Stay tuned as we uncover the charm of Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Harper's Ferry is a city of many firsts. It was part of the first successful American railroad. John Brown's attack on slavery is a first that many know about, but did you know that one of the earliest integrated schools in the United States was located here? Hmm. Formerly enslaved people were able to attend school here in the same city where the fight over slavery was so viciously fought. It is a true battleground in many ways. It also witnessed the largest surrender of federal troops during the Civil War. And if you go back even further, there are some pretty impressive innovations here related to manufacturing. You might say Harper's Ferry is an early adopter of many things. Harper's Ferry is conveniently situated roughly 70 miles from both Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, about 20 miles from Frederick, Maryland, and about 50 miles from Tysons, Virginia. It's located right off Route 340, which will take you to Routes 70 and 270 in Maryland, and about 20 miles to either Route 81 or Route 7. It's a peaceful retreat that's well connected, especially considering the Mark train can give you fast access to different parts of Maryland, D.C., and West Virginia. If you're thinking of commuting from this area to a different state or a nearby town, know that some roads tend to have more traffic than others. You can reach out to us for local insight on which major roads will add the most time to your commute. This charming town stretches along the Shenandoah River in a north to south direction and encompasses a number of small and large neighborhoods far beyond the historic area of Harpers Ferry. There are many, but just to name a few, we have Boulevard, Shannondale, and Bakerton. Many of these are close-knit communities where everyone knows your name or is about to learn it. You can expect people to wave at you and say hello, even stop their cars to talk to you when you visit here. Kristen can attest to this. Mm -hmm. Doesn't bother me because also very common in Berryville. <laughs> it's the kind of place where you can and escape the hustle and bustle of city life, but still enjoy the convenience of nearby urban centers. Absolutely. Harper's Ferry offers a unique blend of scenic beauty, historical richness, and modern accessibility. It's a real estate treasure waiting to be discovered. Speaking of treasures, homes for sale here are a little more rare, so you'll need to plan ahead if you have a specific vision for the type of home you'd like to live in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying our Harper's Ferry breakdown. If you have anything to share about living in or visiting the Harper's Ferry area, we'd love to hear from you in our comments. Let's dive into home stats, shall we? Over the past year, in the 25425 zip code, the average home price here was about 365,000. The home sales range from historic homes in need of major rehab to much newer homes that are move-in ready. And then you have a wide variety of homes on or near the lake in Shannondale. For single family homes, the price range is quite wide, from 269,000 up to nearly 650,000 for new construction homes. That's a pretty big range. Yeah. Now, townhomes are a rare find in Harpers Ferry. Last year, just a couple sold in the low 200,000s. If you're looking for a townhome in this area, you'll want to plan in a lot of wait time. Sometimes we have luck sending mail to targeted neighborhoods, so that's another option to help potentially speed things along. If space is what you crave, a home with five plus acres will run you 600,000 or more. Again, not a lot of sales here, so either be ready to be flexible or hire a proactive and knowledgeable realtor who can stay on top of inventory for you. Even better yet, a realtor duo. We sometimes have access to homes not yet on the market, which can be a real boost for our clients when they're looking in an area like this. There are a handful of subdivisions in the area, but no active new construction subdivisions currently in Harpers Ferry. If you're looking for a new home, there are unique one-off builds that come up with local builders. When it comes to local builders, it's important to be able to research as best as you can, though I will say many do not have websites, so that can be a little difficult. Your best bet is to tour homes or home sites where they're actively building, ask for references from past clients, and then do a little bit of research on social media forums. Homes here don't sit long. The average days on market is just 25 days for resale homes. If you see something you love, you won't want to wait too long to go see it. Taxes for an average priced home of $365,000 range from just under $1,000 to a little over $2,000 a year. These rates are fairly comparable with the surrounding towns, although much lower than nearby Virginia towns. The biggest factor in your taxes is whether you live inside or out of the corporation of Harper's Ferry, which impacts your property taxes. Your nearby major grocery store options are all in Charlestown. 
you can find Walmart, Martins, and Aldi there. All three are about 15 minutes away from downtown Harpers Ferry. If you're someone who needs a Costco or a Target run every once in a while, expect a longer trip to get to either of these in Winchester or Leesburg. Historic Harpers Ferry offers some of the most unique shopping and dining experiences, including the True Treats Historic Candy, where you can purchase candy from different historical periods. Visiting that store always makes me want to plan a book club around books that mention these candies so I have an excuse to try them all. Yeah, no. So Hannah, <laughs> some popular local dining options to check out if you're ready to explore the area include the White Horse Tavern, the Rabbit Hole, and the Mountain Lake Club in Shannondale. If you do end up in Shannondale, a trip around Lakeside Drive is well worth the time to see the lake from all angles. Definitely, it just drives slow. Yes. <laughs> Lots of amazing bumps and curves. <laughs> if you're hoping for a great local bakery nearby, you need to check out the Boulevard Bread Bakery. They bake fresh bread daily, including cinnamon raisin sourdough and maple butter biscuits. Ugh. All right, enough, you're making me hungry. We're going to briefly go over school stats here, but know that researching schools requires more than just glancing at the ratings from one to 10. While our hands are tied from recommending certain school districts, we do take it on ourselves to help our clients with resources so they can research multiple facets of schools and school districts. West Virginia offers a balanced scorecard for each school, which gives data on the number of students and how students in different demographic categories are meeting benchmarks. You can go on and compare numbers for all 15 schools in Jefferson County to dig further into the data. Or if you want to do even more research, just reach out and we can show you where we send our clients. So if you're looking for charm, history, and value, Harpers Ferry might just be your next home. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you're looking to dive more into specific parts of Harpers Ferry, jump into our video on the top five neighborhoods in Harpers Ferry. Until next time on West Virginia Total Resource, keep exploring and let us know if you have any requests for future videos. See you next time.